So tell me why you decided to write your next big thing and why did you want to do it right now? Your next big thing, my book, has a really interesting history. Um, so about, what is it, about eight years ago, I was working with this woman who was kind of atypical for my patient population. She was in her 40s, she was an administrative assistant, a single mother, and very, very depressed, and mm -hmm. nothing was really working for her. The only thing that she was at all interested in was her daughter um, and her daughter's well-being, but she, she was really stuck in a rut. Mm -hmm. And nothing that I was doing was helping her. Uh, and just, it was very uh, frustrating, honestly, as a clinician that I couldn't help move this woman out of her feeling stuck. And so one day I just said, you know what, let's forget all the behavioral things that we're doing and I want you to just close your eyes for a minute. And I want you to imagine your great, great granddaughter. I want you to picture who this girl is. Who does she hang out with? What does she do with her time? What does she have for breakfast? And then I want you to turn the camera around and think about what your great, great granddaughter knows about you. And think about what this girl is thankful for. Why is she thankful that you were her great-great-grandmother? And when this woman opened her eyes, she said, I want to make a piece of jewelry for my great-great-granddaughter to wear to her senior prom. And it, like this moment, even eight years later, whenever I say it, like it, it I, I have chills when I think about it. It, it had this wow. profound impact on her and this profound impact on me. And from that moment forward, this woman basically became a jeweler. She began taking metalsmithing classes wow. and she was just trying beads and all different stuff and her, she just had this vast change in her trajectory. She rode the wave on Etsy.com and was able to make a living doing all of this oh, and this was wow. like, it like broke her open. Wow. And for me, I was like, whoa, that's pretty wild. So I started, I, I wasn't planning to write a book. I was just making notes of like what worked mm -hmm. for this woman to like help get her moving again. And about a year and a half later, I was like, oh, you know, if you put this together, it could kind of, it could kind of be a book. Um, and so I did what no one should do, which is I wrote the entire book on spec, which was a terrible mistake. Uh, and then I was like, oh, you have to find an agent. You have to get a publisher. I just didn't know anything about any right. of it. Uh, but I ultimately got an agent and then ultimately got a publisher and the book, which started out really as my story of working with her became my story of working with a couple of other people because that's the way these things work. Uh, but it really was all of the different chapters were really about help, helping someone to move forward when they're feeling stuck in life. And that's the feedback that I've gotten from people who've mm -hmm. read it have been like, wow, this was really helpful for me when I was like really just stuck. The groups of people that seem to be gravitating towards it are people in their 20s that are just out of school. Okay. People that are kind of in the mid-career and then a lot of people that are retiring have really taken to it. That's where I've really made an impact for people that I think are considering second careers and things of that nature.